Hi, so here we have one more proof for the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is defined for the right angle triangle. Suppose if we have a right angle triangle, something like this, where it has three sides A, B and C in this fashion. A and B are adjacent to right angle and C is the hypotenuse. Then A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And this is what we are going to prove, right? So let me fill this triangle in white color and now let me copy this triangle and paste it over here and now let me color this triangle in suppose orange color and again let me select this triangle and let me rotate it by 90 degree towards left and let me join this triangle with the original triangle which was there and now let me take the same triangle once again so this was the triangle and this time I am going to color this in green and now let me cut it again and again let me rotate it towards left by 90 degrees and again I am going to arrange it in this fashion in such a way that the base of this green triangle is in perfect alignment with the height of this orange triangle right and now let me take this once again this is the green triangle and this time I'm going to color it in blue and again I'm going to select this and rotate it left by 90 degree and let me align it. So what do we have now? So here we have one quadrilateral which has all the four interior angles as 90 degrees, right? All these four angles are 90 degrees and we have aligned these triangles in such a way that we get straight lines over here. So actually we have a rectangle over here, right? But in this rectangle, all the four sides are equal. This is side A, this is side B of the original triangle and this was C, this was A, this was B and this was C. Similarly, this was A, this was B and this was C. So we actually have a square whose one side is equal to A plus B and inside also we have a quadrilateral, this quadrilateral. Yes, this is a rhombus but this rhombus is also a square because if we take a right angle triangle, this was the original triangle which we have rotated and made this figure, right? In this one angle was right angle which is there in each corner of the square and the sum of other two angles will be 180 minus 90 that is 90 degrees. That means the sum of this angle and this angle is 90 that means this angle is also 90. All these interior angles in this black colored rhombus are also 90 degrees that convert this rhombus into a square. Isn't it? And what will be the area of the square? See, the area of the bigger square is actually A plus B whole square. And this is also equal to the area of the black square, which is C square plus four times the area of our original triangle. And the area of our original triangle was one by two times A multiplied by B. Right? And what is A plus B whole square? A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus 2AB. And this is equal to C square plus 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. That is 2AB. This 2AB and this 2AB will cancel each other. And from here, we will get A square plus B square is equal to C square where A and B are the sides adjacent to right angle and C is actually the hypotenuse. So in this way also you can prove the Pythagoras theorem. And after this we have few more proofs of Pythagoras theorem. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.